Marines new element unit. Now this is a sonar GPS unit. It's a multifunctional device so it, that means it does a lot of things and what, what you do when you look at a unit you have to see what it has for the features and then you also have to look what is it going to show you on the screen itself. So this one's able to have high chirp and then it has side, down, and real vision 3D sonar. So that's the cool stuff where you can take and you can zip it like all around like you're floating in the air. But more on that later, but let's get back to uh, this unit. So this one is actually, there's two different models. And so this one is the one that has the uh, HV100 transducer and that allows it to do all that. So there is another uh, unit that you can buy in a box all, all together with the transducer and it doesn't have all those features but this one does because it has everything and that's the reason why we're just going to unbox this and look and see what actually comes in the box so you know if you're going to have to get something else or not besides the unit itself. So uh, the first thing you notice right away, Navionics card inside of This is great. This is the US uh, Canada mapping. So this is, this is good for everywhere. That's the great thing here in the United States and Canada. All you have to do is take this and you do have to uh, download the information onto this Navionics card. Uh, but at the same time, you're going to register it, and then it's uh, one year from uh, the date that you register it, you can do updates. And that's the great thing about uh, the Navionics card, and the fact this goes all the way, you know, across the United States. You don't have to worry if you're going to Texas, if you live in Arkansas, and you don't have the map for that region. This one has it all, and that's what came in the box itself. Uh, the next thing, of course, is uh, the owner's manual. Now, this... Manual actually is just like a quick setup type manual. It gives you some of the basic information and things like that, how to use it. But if you want more detail and more information, then you have to go to Ray Marine's website itself, www.raymarine.com. And at that, then you'll be able to find like the whole big owner's manual. This is just a small one only 30 some, really 33 pages of information. Uh, that's really good to look at so you know how you're going to uh, get on this unit. Plus this unit's a little different because it's not like the Axiom that's a touch unit or the Axiom Pro that is uh, a touch and has multi-function keypad on the side. So uh, of course you have to have a Ray Marine sticker to put on your boat and uh, serial numbers you'll need that for when you call in your warranty and then they, of course they have uh, the first one and that is uh, if i can get it open for you and that's the installment so uh, the installment shows you how to install it if you're going to do it uh, uh, in the console if you're uh, going to use the bracket it comes with uh, and then how you're going to connect your cables and that's basically your transducer cable and then also your power cable. So you can uh, do both of them uh, here with the instructions. And then uh, also has a QR code if you want to check that out right there. More QR codes over to the side. So basic information, uh, how to mount it. This is uh, the diagram of laying it out. And if you're going to cut into your console, that's you know, basic diagram information. And the same thing goes with the transducer and, uh, of course, more, um, you know, information that you may not need right away. Talks about the warranty, which is very important. Make sure you register your unit and uh, software manuals. You know, that's the QR code you could scan with your thing and do it that way. And this is the mat, so if you're putting it in... Uh, in your console, you know, inserting it into your console. That's the mat it comes with. Here comes the good part. That's right. It's the unit itself. And the unit itself is very, very thin. A lot thinner than I thought it would be. Um, to tell you the truth, uh, the Axiom is a lot thicker, but this is, uh, this is the element. And of course, on the back in the element comes with your transducer. Um, 
connection and then also your power connection which is also your NEMA uh, cord also goes into that power and your NEMA cord comes out of that and so it seems pretty basic heat sink going to let out some heat inside there and then uh, cover and uh, we'll set it down in there nice cover it comes with and then uh, they've protected the front end of this this is the 12 inch and it's a quad core processor so a beast very very fast uh, of a unit and that's where the keypad that I was talking about one two three I already know it's the favorite setting so once you have it set up you can do that and then waypoint you know okay this is going to let you this style is going to let you get around the unit and then this section I happen to know too is where your USB card so for your mapping it's going to go inside there and so we're just going to close that up that's your power key to turn it on and uh, the manual also talks about uh, the, the functions uh, of each key inside that owner's manual that I showed you so it's very thin look it's extremely thin and really kind of light compared to some of the other units that, that are on my boat and we'll put that down and uh, we'll see what else is inside here the knobs are inside there um, we we'll have a knob for each side and then uh, next up on the button is the uh, well, it's the mounting bracket so mounting bracket looks pretty easy uh, so that'll be that's a real easy mount and I'm actually going to mount mine to uh, to a King Kong mount uh, on my boat because it's really strong and it's going to give me that angle that I want to look at and then uh, let's see there's some uh, screws and some mounting information there is like um, I say like this is a little groove that that's where your power can come out and it's a cover that it goes over that's real nice it has some screws that makes that part really easy and the next section of course is the HV100 and the HV100 is uh, is actually the transducer itself and so the transducer is uh, it's an all-in-one transducer so it uh, does uh, downside chirp and uh, it also will do um, the 3d imaging too so it's like most of them nowadays pretty good size that's the temperature section but uh, it comes with a, I believe it's a 20 foot cord so uh, not bad that'll be real easy and that's what you're gonna hook it to uh, you know just to your unit itself and then uh, one last thing uh, this was inside there and that is actually uh, the power cord so uh, the power cord for this unit we're going to open it up right here and look and see what it has in there and it's a power cord and also uh, the NEMA a connection so both of that goes to the power cord so that's the element unit itself that's everything that's in the box uh, the only thing I saw that you're gonna have to have and that's a inline fuse for it uh, because it didn't come with it but everything else is in the box you know you're looking at high chirp side vision down vision real vision 3d sonar quad core processor um, you know keypad control it uses the lighthouse uh, sport operating system which is a little different but it also gives you that great mega imaging 1.2 uh, megahertz so I'll be posting some more uh, videos and also some uh, screen captures so you can see what this unit is all about